Hi, this is Brad Travesty from Tech Guy Web Solutions. Uh, this is an installment to my my 10-part uh, Joomla beginners video series. Uh, I'm just going to be explaining the basics of Joomla. Uh, if you if you're fluent in Joomla, then you probably don't need this. This is for the beginners. Um, what I'm going to do in this particular video is I'm going to uh, create a article or a new page and also link it to a menu. Um, so it can be reached through the home page. Uh, this is a, a default fresh Joomla installation. This is all the sample content. Um, you can choose this to install the sample content or just uh, have an have a empty website. So this is just the just sample content that comes with the Joomla installation um, in a default template as well. So we're going to go to to the admin area. Um, if you're new to Joomla, you want to type in uh, your, whatever your site is, dot com slash administrator. Um, you can see I'm working on my local host here. This isn't an actual website that's live. Um, so you just want to, you, you should have defined a password when you installed Joomla. Um, either if you installed it either through Fantastico or, or FTP. Um, so I'm just going to log in here. And here we have the administrator interface also called the back end um, and what we want to do we, we're going to create the article in article manager but what I want to do is create a section and a category to put that article in and you do that you go to content and go to section manager sections are the top of the, the hierarchy it's sections then a category to that section and then you can choose the article for that category um, and as you can see, there's some sample ones here, but we're, we're, we're going to create a new one. So just go to new, whoops, not edit, new, and you just want to give it a name. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a frequently asked questions section. So I'll just put FAQ, save. So we have the FAQ. Actually, there already is an FAQ. We'll ignore that. Um, so now what you that was the section FAQ now you want to create a category and click new and we'll just say um, web design we'll say that this is these are frequently asked questions about web design and down here you'll see the section right now the default is about Joomla we don't want that section we want the FAQ that we created click save and you, you don't need to have sections and categories. You can leave the articles uncategorized. Um, if you have a lot of content, it's a good idea to to um, give it a section and category. Um, so now what we want to do is go to Content Article Manager. And here you'll see all the sample articles that come with the default Joomla installation. Uh, so we want to click New. And we want to give it a name. We'll say Web Design. FAQ, FAQs. Uh, alias, you can leave that blank. Uh, this this can pertain to the the URL. Um, if we just leave this blank, it'll be something like all lowercase web design FAQ. I just typed this in, but th this is what would come even if we left this blank. It would it kind it mimics the title, just all lowercase and no spaces. So now we want to choose a section. We want to choose FAQ, which is the section we created. And there's only one category in FAQ, so it defaults to that, to the web design category. Um, here we'll just, this is the FAQ page for web design. And obviously, you would fill this up. Um, so that's it. If you want it on the home page, you can click yes to front page, um, but we're not going to do that. And make sure published, yes, and click save. All right, so now we have our page created, but if you go to the front end, it's, it's nowhere to be found. We have to link it to a menu. We can link it to the main menu or maybe one of these side menus. Um, I'm just I'm going to link it to the top menu. So what you want to do now is go to menus and click on, you know, you'll see all the menus available on the site. We're going to click main menu. And now what you want to do is click new. 
and click articles and click article layout now what you want to do is give it a name uh, we'll just say web design FAQ once again the alias if you leave it blank it'll make up it'll make one up for you and here you want to leave this as is if you want it to be a sub item of a main menu item you could do that here um, you could also set the access to registered or special admin users um, you can also choose if you want the the page to be opened in a new window with browser navigation or a new window without it we're just going to leave it on parent window with browser navigation now over here you want to you want to choose the article so click select and you'll get a list of all the all the um, articles on the site so we're going to find ours which is web design FAQs just click that so we should be all set here so we click save and you'll see down here it's at the bottom web design FAQ you can also change its position um, over here under order but we'll just leave it last on the list so now let's go to our home page and refresh Oh, the oh, I made a mistake. The main menu is, is over here on the side. I thought it, this was the main menu. But you'll see Web Design FAQ right here. Um, you know what? I'm going to create it on the top, too. So this is the top menu right here. This is the top menus. Once again, let's click New, Articles, Article Layout, Web Design FAQ. Select the article. Yeah, save. All right, so now we'll go to the front page, reload, and there it is. Web design FAQ. Click on it, and we didn't put very much content in it, but here it is. Um, I want to show you one more thing. You can see that here it's a, it has the, the the page name, and then under it it says written by administrator, and then it has the date. Now this is if this is going to be an about us page or FAQ page, you don't want this. This is more for um, blog and news style articles. So what we're going to do is go into back to the article manager, and what I do is make the default um, hide hide the date in the the written by line. Hide that by default. So you want to click on parameters over here, and you want to click hide for author name create created date name I mean created date and time and modify date and time you want to put all that to hide and I also like to hide the icons the PDF icons the email icons so I choose hide for all these every every Joomla installation I do I, I hide all the icons and the dates so now if we go back and reload the page that's gone. So now it's just the title and then the description. Um, that's it for now, and uh, I hope you stick around for the rest of the series. Um, next, I'll be talking about SEO. So uh, that's it. Thanks.